I do have Chelsea nightmares, but they're often about sort of abject failure. You know, they're about, they're about turning up and finding that, that, you know, somebody set up a hot dog stall in the back of the garden or that, um, that you know, somebody's had a bright idea and they've built half the garden before I even got there and it's all the wrong way around and, and you know, but somehow the opening date has come forward a week. So yes, I mean, there's a level of anxiety there, of course, doing Chelsea, but without that, you know, you wouldn't have the excitement of, of putting this thing together in, in three weeks and it being as much, about, um, as much about putting on a theatrical production as it is about gardening. I think all, all gardens that I do at Chelsea are, are in, in some ways a development of, of previous ideas as a sort of continuity in some ways. And um, this, this garden is, a, is primarily a sort of setting for, a, for a, a sculptural structure, which is this beautiful pavilion in the middle of it. And I see that the whole garden as, as, a, um, as a sculpture in a way. Um, and the, the pavilion itself is, um, is part of that sculptural structure. Um, but it's, it's, like a, it's like a nest set, set within the garden, so that perhaps more than any other garden I've made at Chelsea, there, there is going to be this very, very definable place where you go at the centre of the garden, which is going to be very sort of quiet and reflective. And it's going to be surrounded by a quite a sort of romantic woodland idea, which is this grove of birch trees underplanted with very, very natural plants. So there, there is a very strong sort of opposition and contrast in the garden between the very natural woodland idea and the very strong sculptural aesthetic. I think one always starts with an idea, and in many ways the idea comes from you know, who you're making the garden for. So in making the garden for Lauren Perry, I'm trying to do something which uh, you know, expresses something about what Lauren Perry is. And uh, so I would never make a garden that was sort of dreary, dark and dank and you know, <laughs> depressing. Um, I'd always want to do something which was quite uh, which was quite sort of elevating, quite sophisticated, and very, and very. I think purity is quite a strong idea. Really, it has to be something which, which is, um, is unfussy, um, and has a kind of clarity to it. Um, so I always start um, with with a, with an idea that I'm trying to express, not with not with a, a a plant or a a material that I want to use. That that will always come second. Uh, the, the bronze building is really a development of a collaboration that I have been working on with Jamie Fobert, the architect, for um, several years. And uh, we, we made a garden up in uh, Cheshire where we had three of these pavilions looking in on the garden space. And uh, it seemed to me that it would be rather... I'd never made a building in, in Chelsea... I'd never made a garden at Chelsea with a building at its centre. And that had always been a bit of a sort of an avoidance on my part. And I thought this was something that I ought to face up to. And I think also that there's a rather nice progression from the two previous gardens I've made, which um, have used steel and then zinc. Um, there's a rather nice progression to something, you know, progressively more refined in a way. Um, and the thing, about, the thing about bronze or copper, as it actually, the, 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 the seat's made out of bronze, but the, the building is made out of copper, um, is that it's, um, it has this fantastically refined, very, very clear-cut finish, um, which I think would be really striking. I think in a way, um, in previous Chelsea's, you know, I've, I've always wanted the garden to have complete control over something. And the idea of, of collaborating with an architect um, has been a little bit frightening. But I think I, I sort of have the confidence now and I know I've worked with Jamie enough to know that um, he's not going to pull a fast one on me. <laughs> and, you know, and, you, and, you, and, and it's really rather exciting working together with somebody to, to produce something which is possibly even better than, than you could do on your own. Um, and I wouldn't pretend to be an architect, you know, that's not what I do. Um, but I thought that actually, uh, you know, having, having a building in the garden was, was something that um, would be a real plus. I mean, apart from anything else, you know, occasionally you do get a bit of rain at Chelsea. And it's quite nice to have somewhere to retreat to, as, as um, you know, I've learned. To, we often end up sort of, you know, sheltering the shed around the back um, while the garden's looking beautiful out the front. Much nicer to be sitting there while everybody else is under their umbrellas you know, having our champagne under the shelter of this beautiful building. That's the idea anyway. <laughs>